Welcome to Otten Math. Today we're going to talk about finding the length of a common tangent between two circles. In this case, we're going to find the common external tangent, but the process is the same for both a common internal tangent and a common external tan tangent. So here is an example. We have two circles with a center E and one circle uh, with the center F. We have a common tangent uh, AC that intersects the smaller circle at point B and the larger circle at point C. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw a segment joining the centers. And you can see that that's already drawn. So from the center of circle E to F, we've already drawn that line. The second thing we want to do is we want to draw a radii to the point of contact uh, from the center of the circle to the point of contact where the tangent line meets the circle. So here I'm going to draw a line first from E to C, and then I'm going to draw a line for radii from F. Next, we want to take this smaller circle, and what we want to do is we want to draw another line that's parallel to the tangent from F, and we want to connect the radii of the larger circle. So here I'm going to draw my line that's parallel to CA, and I'm going to intersect EC. So now what I've done is I've created a rectangle from C to B, to F, to what I'm going to call point T. So now I know C, B, F, T is a rectangle because I know that the radii intersect the tangent at right angles. And on purpose, I've drawn a line that's parallel to AC. So I know that these angles are right angles as well. So I've just drawn a rectangle. Now I'm going to take the values that I've been given, and I'm going to enter them in the diagram. So I know that DE is 10. DE is the radius of E. So I know that this length here is going to be equal to 10. I know that FB is equal to 4. Now, because opposite sides of rectangles are congruent, I know that TC is also 4. And that means that ET is going to be 6. Okay. Now I want to figure out what the length is between E and F. That's pretty easy to do in this case because E to F is just the addition of the two radii. So I'm going to call this intersection point as P between the two circles. So from E to P, I know is the same as D to E or E to C. It's 10. And I know from P to F is the same as F to B. And I know that is 4. So now all I'm left with is to figure out what the length of TE is, sorry, TF, because I know that the distance from T to F is the same as the distance from C to B. So my next step is to enter the values for TE, EF, and then to figure out what FT is. So I know that TE is going to be 6. And I know that EF is 14. So I know 6 squared plus FT squared is equal to 14 squared, which is 36 
plus ft squared is equal to 196. Or ft squared is equal to 196 minus 36 or 160. ft now is equal to plus or minus the square root of 160. And now because I know that the length cannot be a negative value, it just becomes a positive. So ft ends up being 4 root 10.